Hello, welcome back to Elevenses, a time of story and song, craft and prayer that's coming to you from the benefits of the Long Ashton Barrow Gurney and Flaxport. And today we're going to be exploring what it means to be a good shepherd. And I've got some sheep, I have a shepherd, I have some sheep shearing shears, some shears for sheep shearing. There you go, try saying that. And a sheepskin. We also have my friend here who likes to come along and join us for Elevenses. But now we're going to sing our first song, which is Thank You Lord for This New Day. singing that. You sounded very good from where I'm sitting. Now we're going to have a story. It's one of the stories that Jesus told. It's about lost sheep and a good shepherd. When Jesus talked, everybody came to listen. People who thought they were good and people who weren't so good too. Cheats and liars, robbers and thieves. The people who thought they were good didn't like this one bit. Hey, Jesus, they shouted. You say you come from God. You call him your father. So why are you spending your time with these bad people? Jesus thought for a minute. Let me tell you a story, he said. Once upon a time, there was a shepherd. A shepherd who had a hundred sheep. He knew each of them by sight. The white ones and the black ones, the spotted ones and the striped ones, the thin ones and the fat ones, the sleek ones and the woolly ones. And every night, after he had called them from the fields and gathered them in their pen, he would count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way to a hundred. One night, he found himself a sheep short. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, he counted. But he never got to a hundred because the last sheep was missing. The shepherd looked around the pen. It's Bramble! He said, it's Bramble that's gone. And what do you think he did? Did he say to himself, I have 99 sheep left. Who cares if one is lost? Of course not. He cared for the missing sheep as much as for the rest. So he picked up his walking stick and off he went across the fields and hills looking for that lost sheep. He looked under bushes, he looked behind rocks, he looked down deep ravines, and finally, when he had almost given up hope, he found the lost sheep trapped in a tangle of thorns. The shepherd shouted, Hooray, Bramble! Then he picked up the sheep in his arms and carried it safely home. Come to my house, he called to his neighbours. Come to my house, he called to his friends. My sheep was lost and now it's found. We're going to have a party. 
So why do I talk to people who have done bad things, said Jesus to the crowd? Because God is like that shepherd and we are all God's sheep. Some stay in the pen, but some, like these robbers and thieves, wander away and get lost. So someone has to look for them and talk to them. And when they come back to God, then God throws a party too. Jesus is very much like that shepherd. Whenever one of us gets lost, gets stuck in the brambles of life, then Jesus will come and pick us up and bring us home. And when he does that, then God's always willing to throw a big party, to welcome us back into the fold. And so let's sing about Jesus' love in our next song, Jesus' Love is Very Wonderful. <laughs> some craft and what we're going to do we're going to make one of these it is Bramble lost amongst the thorns and the grasses and here is Bramble being found it's based around one of these a cup you could use a paper cup or maybe you've got uh, a plant pot that'll work or even a yogurt pot but you need to know the size of that before you start making your bramble. Because bramble is on a lolly stick. And you need a lolly stick and you need two circles of card. But you've got to make sure your card fits inside whatever cup you're using. So you take the lolly stick, you take the two circles of card and you stick them like this together. And now you've got the basic body but it needs wool, cotton wool. Put a bit of cotton wool on. This is where you need some glue. This glue is very gluey. Look at that. Somebody's left the brush in the glue. Ooh. Dab a nice bit on, make it gluey. There we are. Stick it on, spread it out a bit. You're going to need to glue all the way around the edges to hide the edges and you're going to need to glue on the back as well. I'm not going to, I'll get very sticky. But there's a start. So you have a body, but you need a head and you need some legs. So with that, a bit of cardboard. You just need two bits of cardboard for the legs and they stick underneath. They push underneath some of your cotton wool and they stick on the like so a bit. And then a head. Now we have a template for this, online as usual. The template gives you the shape of a head to cut out and some legs to cut out. What you want is a head like that. We've got googly eyes. Have you? If you haven't, you haven't been reading enough. If you haven't got googly eyes, then get a hole punch, a bit of white paper, punch two, and then you'll get two little rounds and you can stick those on as eyes or you can use scrunched up uh, tissue paper, something like that, or even silver foil if you want to make it look weird, really weird. And you stick the head on with glue dots or more glue. 
so that you end up with the sheep. Now you take your cup and the rest of the template here gives you some grass to go around your cup. You cut one out. You get ready to pop it on and go around with it. But before you do, you need a little slit in the bottom of the cup so that your lolly stick will go through. Stick it on and decorate it. Stick it on. You can do maybe two or three. We've got two layers on this one. But you can do lots of layers to make it really rambly and really spiky. And then you can decorate it however you want. But on the template, you've got a little sheep with a quote from the Bible about God looking after us and rescuing us. And that's it really. It's a very, very simple little exercise. So let's pop this one back in. And there's Bramble. Bramble hidden. Bramble found. And if you make some, do let us know. Send us a photo. All the instructions will be on the website as usual. And the details will be right at the end of this service. Once we've got the glue off our hands, let's sing our next song, and it's Who Put the Colours in the Rainbow? say together, may our hands be helping hands for all that must be done, that fetch and carry, lift and hold, and make the hard jobs fun. May our hands be clever hands in all we make and do, with sand and dough and clay and things, with paper, paint and glue. May our hands be gentle hands, and may we never dare to poke and prod and hurt and harm, but hold with love and care. And now the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let's pray God's blessing on each and every one of us. May Christ, the Good Shepherd, who laid down his life for us, his sheep, pick each of us up and bring us home to be one flock within one fold. And the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you all evermore. Amen. And don't forget, if you are lost or lonely, Jesus, God, is that good shepherd who will always look out for you, will always be there to pick you up 
to dust you off and to bring you home. And when you're out on your walks, have a look for all the different sheep you might see. There's big ones and small ones, leaping lambs and spotty ones and black-faced ones and ones who've had their fleeces shorn for the summer. They're just like us, all very different, behaving in very different ways. But God looks out for each and every one of them as God looks out for us. Thank you. Join us again next time. Bye.